I'll go follow the plan maybe 90% of the time. It works that way. I'm about to rip off the shirt. I'm about to rip off the shirt and show them it's still working. <laughs> it's still working, don't worry. Have we told them, guys? Have we told them what we're actually making? Uh, the healthy, healthy KFC. Are we going over that? No, we sort of haven't. What's happening, guys? Alexander the Great Volkanovsky, UFC featherweight champ, and we've got another episode, episode two of Cooking with Volk. This is going to be a special edition. Obviously, you know I'm in fight camp, so we uh, are cooking a feed. This is stuff that I can eat uh, during prep uh, for, for this fight coming up. So this is pretty exciting stuff. Uh, let's get stuck into it. Intro, here we go. All right, guys, so today, cooking with Volk, our fight camp edition. You know, what better way to do it than have uh, the nutritionist that looks after me and makes sure that the food I'm eating is okay for training and losing weight. What better man to have here than the man himself, Geordie, the fight dietitian. Here he is. How are you, mate? <laughs> What's going on? So what we're going to do today, we're going to do a couple of dishes that I like to do in camp, something that we sort of like little rip-offs of uh, food that we would like to eat on our everyday life, but obviously we have to try and keep the calories a bit lower and stuff like that. So uh, what do you reckon, Geordie? Yeah, yeah. No, these ones are really cool. These ones, are, we like doing it with the guys. Volko's likes these. They're meals that you probably want to eat during camp, but you probably can't get them. So we do our own spin on them, make them healthy and make them appropriate for the guys while they're getting ready for the next biggest fight of their life. Let's do it then. Let's get stuck into it. Let's go! All right, so we've got, uh, as you can see, we've got a heap of uh, chicken here. Uh, that's because we've got some of the boys that are actually doing camp with me, so we bring them down, and I'm going to cook for them as well. So they're going to all, uh, they're all under the fight dietitian approved meals. So I'm going to make sure they're uh, getting a nice feed before our next session. So let's get stuck into that. While I'm going to cut these ch uh, the chicken up, I've got the rice cooking over there. So uh, everyone knows how to cook rice, so I won't bother with that. So we've just got the rice cooking. I'm gonna carve up some of this chicken because I want it pretty thin. Oh yeah, Geordie's here, so I better cut off some of the fat. If he wasn't here, I wouldn't cut it off, but anyway, we'll do that. This is actually a dish that um, we made for the guys um, a UFC event a couple of years ago where um, one of the guys jokingly said to us, I'd love to have um, KFC during fight week. And then um, our chef, Chef Quinny, took it upon himself to make that happen. And um, yeah, ever since now, I have to make it for the guys every fight camp and every fight week. So. Thanks, Chef Quinny. Now I have to learn all of this. <laughs> it's good, though. I've had this a couple of times fight week as well. So this meal you can have fight week, which is, uh, which is awesome. But, I mean, you can have this. Again, we're going to do two different proteins uh, with different flavors. Uh, so that's going to work well. Mine, actually, the dish that I'm doing is uh, when I'm in Thailand, uh, we go to a place called uh, Fatty's, and uh, I think it's a German place but they do like a Greek type of dish. And um, yeah, they just like marinate some chicken and with uh, some tzatziki and uh, rice. It's, it's simple. So I have it midweek, you know, and, and the weight still comes off. So that's why I like this meal and it fucking tastes good too. <laughs> so I'm just cutting it, trying to cut it pretty fine. It's gonna take a while. All right, Volk, I think we need to hurry this up a bit, eh? Yeah, let's speed it up. All right, guys, that's the chicken finally uh, sliced up how we want them. Now we're going to get the herbs and spices. TFD, uh, what would you call it? Uh, the TFD secret herbs and spices. Oh, there you go. So there we're going to get that. Uh, part, uh, here's a portion to do that. And I'm going to get my, uh, what do we call it? We're going to call it Volk's uh, marinated chicken and rice. Creative. There you go. That's what <laughs> we're going to get here. Plain and simple. But uh, with tzatziki. So uh, let's get into that. Let's get the, I'll get the, some of the herbs and spices. We've already got them mixed up and we'll explain what's in there. All right, let's go. Why don't you explain what's in there, my man? Yeah, what do we got in here? We've got a bit of oregano, got a bit of thyme, sea salt, black pepper, white pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. I'm sure what else am I missing over here? If we're missing it, we'll probably just put them up here. Somewhere. Yeah, we're so somewhere here, 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 here. We've got a lot of there, a bit of flour, herbs and spices. Mine's pretty easy, but let's, uh, let's just get into that. Let's start uh, doing that. We'll, get, we'll start marinating them. So how am I gonna do this? Am I just gonna... Yeah, taking a bit in, and, and then just you just wanna coat it both sides. Coat it up. And what we're gonna do is just put in the pan a little bit of olive oil. Ooh. Yeah, how's the smell on it, but... It smells good, mate, it smells real good. All right, sweet. And depending if you like it spicy or not, you can add a bit more cayenne pepper to these ones, but um, fight week, uh, guys are a bit funny with these ones there. Some guys uh, like the spice, and then some guys, uh, yeah, they really won't like it. Who wants ring a sting on fight week, eh? <laughs> We don't want ring a sting on fire week, do we? 
<laughs> but it's good, but because I think this tastes uh, pretty close to the real deal. Like, uh, if if you get the ratios right in this, play around with them to your to your taste preference. But it actually comes out really good. And obviously, if you want to do batter, say if you're not, if it's not fight week or, or something, you want to make your own batter and have these herbs uh, and spices in there. I'm sure you know you can make yeah, a yeah. nice batter. But again, we're trying to make this fight camp approved, approved fight week approved. Geordie's uh, FTD approved. I think a lot of fighters freak out about carbs. I know you definitely freaked out about carbs when we start working together, but they need a lot of them. So all these dishes, we like to get a good amount of carbs in as well. Well, that's something good to talk about, yeah, with the, with the carbs. So as you were saying, I used to be scared of eating uh, carbs pretty much, you know what I mean? Everyone's scared of carbs, but I mean, the amount of training that, that we're doing, like we'd, well, I'm burning, there's some sessions I'm burning over a thousand calories a session. Mm. And, you know, sometimes that's our third session of the day. And, you know, and then Geordie's like, come on, mate, we need a get some carbs in in these meals. And I'm sitting there like thinking, frig, like, you know, the amount you can eat when you're training that hard, you'll be surprised, you know, when you're doing the, again, for me, I, I literally, I blow out. I'm sitting there sometimes, I, I wouldn't say I get nervous, obviously I trust him, but I sit there and I'd be like, man, how good is this? Because uh, I don't get, uh, I don't get uh, hungry, to be honest. So that's, that's always good. When you're in camp, busting your ass and supposedly dieting, and not really getting, uh, you know, get, not really getting hungry, you're laughing. Mm. It's like putting diesel in an unleaded, right? Like you've got to put the right fuel for the right activity. And these guys do a lot of carb dependent activity. So feed the boys up with carbs, I say. And the girls, of course. All right, Volko, we're dragging behind again. Uh, you got anything we can do here? Yes, I do. The magic swipe. All right, now on to Volk's uh, marinated chicken and rice. I'm just gonna chuck all the chicken in here and then throw the Throw the flavors in there with it. So again, finely diced or sliced, sorry, chicken. Did a great job with that. Mate, that looking good. I'm on That's that, looking that, good. good. All right, so here we go. Olive oil. Yeah, there's a few of us, a fair bit of chicken. There's a few uh, portions. So usually, how much olive oil can we have each, you reckon? Yeah, at least About, a tablespoon. Lots of healthy fats. Yeah. There, so we get a bit. Tablespoon, there we go. So there's a few of us eating. So there's a, a few tablespoons there. So let's get that in. All right, so we're gonna get uh, some paprika. Yeah, you can whiz a bit of that in. No, I did wanna use a chicken hand, but <laughs> <laughs> you can whiz that in. All of that is fine. Oregano, I'm happy with all of that. Garlic, I love my garlic. I don't know how you boys are with this, but I'm chucking it all yeah. in there. Don't go kissing your girlfriends after this <laughs> Here we go. And then salt. We'll get salt. How much salt can I put, mate? There's a few of us here. Yeah, yeah. You always had a big session this morning. Put it in. We need to put that salt back. All of it? Yeah. I can put it all in? Yeah, put it all in. I love my salt too. Here we go, baby. There you go. Fight dietitian approved. I'm happy with that. All right. Now, mix that up. And then we can get this on the pan. Let's do it. So that's everything done, ready to plate. I'm gonna explain, uh, we've got a couple of extras here. Obviously we've got a salad and what's in the salad? Onion, uh, capsicum, tomato, cucumber. We put some spinach because we need a, we need a yeah, bit of veggies, right? Yeah, greens in there. And then got some lettuce as well. So I just put usually, you know, even just vinegar, a little bit of salt is always gonna be nice, but I like a, if you're gonna do salad, olive oil, salt and, uh, and vinegar. That's, a, that's always good. And then we've got some tzatziki here. Uh, I just did uh, how, how my yaya makes it, my grandmother makes it with uh, cucumber, uh, Greek yogurt, dill, a little bit of dill, there's so many ways of doing it, uh, garlic and a bit of salt and you can add a bit of lemon as well, there's, there's so many ways of doing it and then obviously we've got our chicken and then we've got our rice that's ready, should be still warm, there we go, let's plate. All right, it's all plated up, ready to go. Uh, are you happy with the portion sizes? Yeah, dude, that look good. They you look sure? Good. TFD approved, I think. So the boys, 
The boys were in fight camp, we're allowed to eat. Let's do it, let's dig in. Thanks, man. You're right. I'm gonna have to play it up again. <laughs> Joe, where'd you even come from, mate? When did he get here? When did Joe walk? He just walks in this whole time, Cooker comes in and just oh. takes a. Oh, I'll play yours up another one, don't worry. Alright, the boys are here ready to eat. Uh, now, one thing that I've got to make sure when we eat this, the tzatziki really complements everything. The marinated chicken uh, and the rice, so you like to mix it up. Uh, I can tell you a story. I took Joe once uh, when we had this and he was eating everything separate. He had the rice, he had the rice, eating it by itself. He got a piece of chicken, ate it by itself, just dips his fork into a tzatziki by itself and just didn't do, it, didn't do it how I think it should be done. So what I'm just gonna let you know, maybe mix it all together, get the tzatziki through the marinated uh, chicken and the rice, and you're good to go. And just remember guys, we're gonna get started. Well, let's see that actually. Let's see it before I see you as well. Let's, let, let's see what they think. So I'm gonna mix this up together, all of it. Frank, you're in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the hot one got me, eh? Here we go, yeah, mix it all up. Get some of that marinated on it. Yeah. All right, there we go. What do you reckon, boys? You get some of the tzatziki on there? Yeah, no more sauce. No more sauce, huh? All right. Lead all right. All right then. Let me have one more bite. Yeah. You need that on fight week. You need that fight week. Fight edition approved. How good is that, boys? We're good to go. We're gonna be ready for our session later on. And now, remember. Like, go subscribe, like, wait for that, oh shit. All right, remember guys, like, subscribe, hit that bell so you can get notifications. See you in the next episode. Mix it up, mix it up.